Hello everyone. Part two. So she cuts him. She cuts Achilles. The queen is fighting Achilles in the in the her personal chamber, private chamber, and she cuts him and she realizes she cuts him. And she doesn't understand how she's still alive right now. So she backs away. She's instantly backed away. She jumps back, and he realize he sees that he's he's a he's an expert at body language. He's a he's a warrior. He sees her language changing, and he backs away. And he understands. It's almost like he can read her mind. So he walks up to her, and she tries to put her sword up. And his sword's down. He's he has he doesn't look like he's gonna. He just brushes, he puts his, he actually puts his sword down. And, he, and she's like, okay. He drops his sword. She's like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. I can kill him. So he walks up to her. And she sticks her sword up like she's going to kill him. He just brushes it aside. And he puts his hand up on her cheek. He just brushes it lightly. And he pulls away and he shows her blood. He cut her like three or four times. Really lightly. Just raise her down. She saw that and realized that he'd cut her, he could have killed her at any point. He was just playing with her. She was worried that he wasn't worthy. She I mean this is Achilles. I mean imagine being a woman warrior. Imagine the fantasy you'd have about somebody like that, right? So, of course, in her youth, she had fantasies about this man. Heard about the legends. And the one person she thought might be worthy was him. And it turns out she thought he wasn't. And she cut him. But it turns out he was. And the minute she realized he cut her already, she attacked him again. But in a different way. And then we cut to the next morning. And the generals are in the war room waiting for her to leave her private chamber so they can discuss the strategies of the day and imagine their surprise when out she pops and right behind her comes Achilles of course they all draw instantly and she without him saving a word she just lowers her hand and they lower their swords and she explains to them the situation which obviously they're tickled pink they're like what so I mean some of the older guys actually laugh because they just didn't make sense. Who better than a queen to have as, a, as an escort, as a husband, than the greatest warrior on earth? She is one of the greatest queens on earth. So he decided, did Achilles devises a plan. He's going to cut himself to make it look like he'd been wounded a lot. And she's going to send a message to the king telling him that he'd failed and his body was, they were going to return his body out of respect. So they send Achilles out on shields, you know, all wrapped up like, you know, 15 wounds or whatever. And the, he goes to the king's tent. And the king and the, and the, you know, the Greek king and the generals are just freaking because that's their boy, right? <clears throat> and in the middle of that, Achilles jumps up and just dispatches all of them, just kills them. You can imagine he just goes to work does his thing and he sets the tent on fire the pavilion or whatever and he runs out screaming assassins and he just tells tells them to charge the fort and as he's charging towards the fort and all his these soldiers see Achilles screaming going for the fort they go for the fort well they get riddled with arrows and they all die including Achilles but he sacrifices himself because of her. He loved her and he wanted her to survive. He knew that was the only way to get rid of the men, the, the army. And they lost, and he died. But that one encounter was enough to, to bring a baby. And that's where Alexander's lineage comes from, and the bond. Achilles was trained by Michael. And so will he. And this is Metatron explaining to Alexander in the library as to you know, the 
that story. That was a little, that's a little like vignette, little side story inside the story. I think it's, it's really cool. Anyway, that's it. Got some stories. Hope you liked it. It was called Reflections. I got the idea when I used to work at Walmart. Horrible place. Toxic human beings. And, it used to, and I used to think about, oh, I just have to get I have to get worked up just to walk to work every day because it was just so toxic. And I thought about, you know, reflections, how you absorb other people's energies. And then I just thought of that would be a cool superpower. So his superpower, Alexander's superpower, is absorbing other people's emotions and energy and using it against them or reflecting it back at them. If you're a loving, warm person, you're going to think Alexander is the most amazing human being on the planet. You're going to love him. And if you're a bad person, he's going to be your worst nightmare. Like that big old gorilla found out in the in the cage when he got knocked the fuck out quick. Cause he just and that was a thing. He he got tricked. It's not his emotions he's feeling. And as soon as they, they get knocked out, he don't feel them no more. And when he feels uh, other people's love, he don't have to shut that off. You know, if somebody walks up to him and they're loving human being, and he's reflecting it back at him. I don't think he's going to be too unhappy. Still, it's not his, so it, it doesn't last. It's just, like I said, it's a superpower. And he learns to control it, too. Anyway, that's it. Hope you like my story. Love and life, people. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.